Alright, Flight Boss, bitch. I want to do this quick video real quick because somebody just uh, gave me an interesting question. Oh, that was dude's name. Hold on, let me see dude's name. So I can shout him out real quick. But, um... It, it was about... It was some deep shit because, you know, shamans... Shamans are the first... First... Astrological system... That was put out. Then it then it trickled down to the to the Egyptians and, and shit like that. And you know what I'm saying? Then then we go then we go into other aspects and then it gets separated from the top of the pyramid and shit like that. But you know what I'm saying? Um, it made me think about something, right? Because he he was telling me he was telling me his little his how he relate how he relate to. Um, how he relate to sidereal? He was telling me how he how he relate to Western and verdict, right? But he but he brought an interesting point to me, right? So it made it made me think about this. It made me think about this, right? Now, when when do you actually, as you do at all, but when do you actually celebrate your birthday, right? Because look, in verdict, if you was born today. In Western, you would be a Cancer, right? But in Verdict, how many degrees are in Cancer? Okay, so you'll be you you'll probably be late degrees Gemini, right? You'll be late degrees Gemini if you was born right now. So people will start claiming that. But here's an interesting point that he made me think about. If that's the case, why doesn't why doesn't Sidereal and Verdict astrologers broadcast the year like that like if you go to your chart reading this month verdict astrologers is doing cancer why aren't they doing Gemini because technically the, depending on the, the, the chakras and, and all that shit technically they should be they should be talking about Gemini right now then in Western when the Sun goes into Leo verdict should be should be explaining things like the sun is going in cancer. So when Western, when the sun going in Virgo, Verdict should be explaining that same month that the sun is going in Leo. So there's a little there's a little Verdict confusion going on right now. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's not to hate on. I, I fucks with Ver I fucks with everything. What I do, I tie everything and come on my own assumptions about shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't cling on to no type of philosophy no type of because everything was brought upon from something else anyway so once you understand that you know not to hold too much emotional gravitational pull towards one certain thing just because it resonates with you you got to know how to have it resonate and understand why it doesn't resonate and understand why there's a resonation there in the first place and once you can get that the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Once you get the three, the Trinity, the, 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 once you get the three, three, the three out the goddamn way, then you can understand life patterns, which is three, six, nine, six, six, six. You know what I'm saying? Three, three, three. You know what I'm saying? 63. You know what I'm saying? 54. You know what I'm saying? Once you, once you get, the, once you get what's going, because the universe is going in a spiral, right? And it started from a point, right? Then it goes into a spiral, right? Then it goes into a circle, right? Then it goes into that circle, right? And then it creates a number nine. To the point that that's, it's doing a whole bunch of number nines. And so far away, it looks like a zero. So it's a zero and a number nine. So the nine is the starting point, then the zero. So it's the starting point before the zero came. So it's the end of life and the beginning of life. And the zero is the behind the scenes, which is your usher in the life to start the point you know what I'm saying we could get into numero numerology I'm gonna make a whole numerology video but um, yeah that just brought that brought that to my attention uh, so I encourage all verdict astrologers if you're gonna talk about people's NATO through the months you need to do it accordingly to your contract and if verdict sidereal Eastern philosophy astrology is your thing then when the sun is in Cancer right now, right? Y'all motherfuckers need to be acting like the sun is in Gemini right now. 
Then let's see some of y'all nigga charts. <laughs> Let, let's, then let's see some of y'all motherfucker readings every month. You know what I'm saying? And, and see how many people, see how many people resonate with it though. But see, verdict is from a, is from a behind the scenes. Western is in front of the scenes. Like, look, my body and my flesh and me acting out what I'm doing right now, right? That's my Western. That's things, things put into action, right? Okay, the, the, motiv the motivation and the essence of me doing this. The, the, the pure moments of me actually having a sensory in my brain saying, move your arm, like that. Those moments, that's verdict. You know what I'm saying? So we need to get a clear understanding on how to, how to bring them together. Get a clear understanding of how to separate them and why they separate them. And then and get a clear objection on why are there both systems in the first place. Then once you get the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit all out the motherfucking way, you'll be able to understand what the fuck is going on and bring a medium to it. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm here to help. Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. Air flights. <laughs>